Hi guys, back with Bastons. I hope you're all keeping well. I want to talk about one of my favourite watch brands, which is Tudor. I honestly think since Tudor was rebooted over a decade ago, they have done an amazing job. Um, I really do believe that. They produce a solid, robust watch at a very, very competitive price. And I think this sort of got the brand positioning, the image absolutely correct. But I feel as if the last few years have lost the way. And I want to talk about this because everybody on social media, and particularly YouTube, that is, has waxed lyrical about the recent product launches by Tudor at Watches and Wonders. You know, comments saying how they've knocked it out of the park uh, and giving other great accolades in adjectives and describing what they've done. And I tend to disagree with this. I think if we go back a number of years, Tudor were producing amazing watches. Watches like the North Flag. Watches like the Heritage Ranger or the Pelagus. Or even up till a few years ago, like the P01. But since then, I feel as if they have stagnated. And I think the problem lies in the fact they are being positioned as the go-to brand when you can't get Rolex. So you only have to look at the product range. For example, um, you can't get a Rolex Explorer at authorised dealerships. However, you can get the Tudor Ranger. As you can see, it's a very similar watch. If you want the uh, Explorer 2, you can't get that as well but you can get the Black Bay Pro. You can't get the Pepsi by Rolex, but lo and behold, you can get the GMT alternative by Tudor. I mean, the Daytona Chronograph Panda version is completely unobtainable, but you can get the Tudor Black Bay Chronograph. You want a no-date Submariner? Well, we've got the recently launched uh, Black Bay Black on Black no-date. You can get that. I think you're probably catching my drift, but it goes just beyond that. It's almost as if, how can I put it? Rolex are testing the water with Tudor. So there was a lot of talk on social media that the GMT Pepsi would be discontinued and Rolex were going to produce a Coke. Well, guess what? It didn't happen. However, Tudor produced a Coke variant of their GMT. Similarly, there was a lot of talk on uh, social media that um, there was going to be a green dial, green bezel, rose gold submariner produced. Well, guess what? Yes, that didn't happen as well. But instead, we got a green dial, a green bezel in rose gold by Tudor with the Black Bay 58. It's almost as if I say Rolex are just sort of testing the market with Tudor. So the question I've got, and I'd love to hear comments, below. Is Tudor fast becoming Rolex's pup? Stay tuned.